It's been 215 days, and football is finally back. And the more things change, the more they stay the same. It may be a different day, but it's the same old shit as yet another. Tom Brady-led team would reveal a Super Bowl championship banner. There are four guarantees in life. Death, taxes, me never putting a payment on my student loans, and Tom Brady kissing Lombardi's and his children. The national anthem sang by Michelle Williams. Could we not get the other members of Destiny's Child? This is like a Make-A-Wish child asking for the Avengers and they send Quicksilver. If I was a terminal cancer patient in 2006 and I asked for you to bring me a WWE superstar, you better not bring me Simon Dean! Dak Prescott set to make his return to the field after breaking his ankle in week 5 last year. Ezekiel Elliott looking to return to his former self instead of that fat version we got last year. Skip Bayless doing very bizarre cardio in his house. This is the most bizarre way to make it to the television or watch football. The human personification of an angry bird, Bruce Arians. Fuck you, Aaron Rodgers. Mike McCarthy's in the building for his second season as well. Belichick watching from the heavens, waiting for the Madden curse to strike Tom Brady. But we ain't talking about that right now. As ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hold My Nugget Studios once again, live from Raymond James Stadium in Tampa Bay, Florida, as the Dallas Cowboys travel to take on the reigning, defending, undisputed Super Bowl champions of the world in your 2021 NFL kickoff Thursday night football game highlight commentary let the games begin entering his 22nd season making an NFL record 300th regular season start Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. takes the field once again to battle against father time third and two eh? Brady looking towards his right Oh, I missed. Cowboys fans are around the league rejoicing. They don't have to see Ben DiCucci no more. They don't got to worry about Andy Dalton because Dak is back, baby. Wait a minute. You could have saw this video early and ad free. All you got to do is click the link in my description or go to patreon.com slash chisel the donuts and become a level three, four, five, or six member. And you won't have to worry about ads and you'll see this before everybody else. What are you waiting for? And on his very first play from scrimmage, looking towards his right, he's got Amari Cooper at the 30-yard line. Dallas building momentum, play action fake, second and six. Dax got Dalton, David D. Schultz moving the chains into Tampa territory. Few plays later, third and 15, Dak throws the football to those Dallas championships in the 21st century, but nothing was there. They'd be forced to punt the football. Brady, eh, over the middle, he's got Gronkowski. Me move chain, they don't forget me play football. Very next play, Brady takes the snap all kinds of time eh? lets it fly he's got the clown antonio brown in dallas territory enough from the clown i'll fucking do it again okay. eh? he's got the clown antonio brown once again enough from the clown now in the period colored zone eh? brady over the middle he's got chris my god don't lose my god win touchdown tampa bay they strike blood first man some more bullshit. Doesn't look like the Madden curse is working just yet. Dak would dump the football off. Pollard would pick up a first down and move the chains for them boys. Two plays later, Dak would take a trip to Lawn Lawn Ranch. <laughs> as Michael would gallop for a first down into Tampa Bay territory. Another two plays later, Dak looking towards his right, he's got Gallup again. <laughs> He'd successfully submit his application to the 10 toes down challenge and two plays later, Dak is going for it all and they continue to connect with animals as Jerry had a CD lamb, CD lamb, CD lamb. Jerry had a CD lamb and he scored a touchdown. <laughs> Take his big baby! Take his big! Tie game at seven apiece, ensuing drive. Eh? Brady over the middle, the clown Antonio Brown is loose again! He may be listed as a number three receiver. I guarantee you he'll be number one on the Bucks this year. Enough from the clown! Last play of the third quarter, Brady takes the snap, but Dallas is tied at a clown. Eh? I got it, I got it, I got it. Fuck out of here! I dropped it. Ensuing drive, here comes Dallas. Come here. Where you going, little fella? Who's your little guy? Yeah, little half and half. Three and out for them, boy. 
ensuing drive. Great field position. Eh? Brady looking towards his right. He's got Godwin deep inside Cowboys territory. The Cowboys defensive line got to be virgins. Ain't nobody getting penetration. Eh? Brady over the middle. He's got Godwin at the seven. The New England Tampa Bay Patriot Buccaneers. Brady. Eh? He's got Gronkowski. Touchdown. Tampa Bay. They're back out in front. Me Gronk. Me catch touchdown. Me spike. Me Brady score. Dude, what the fuck? And now a word from our sponsors. Wait a minute, Manscaped just released their new performance package 4.0 bundle. This is an all-in-one kit that includes all the tools to perfect your grooming experience, including both the Lawnmower 4.0, the waterproof cordless trimmer, and the new weed whacker for nose and ear hair, alongside the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and the Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray. And when you opt in for the full performance 4.0 kit, you also can enroll in their peak hygiene plan with ongoing replenishments for your favorite products delivered straight to your door hassle free for a limited time only you can get not only one but two free gifts their shed travel bag and the manscaped anti-chafing boxers so click the link in my description and get your lawnmower 4.0 today go to manscaped.com slash chisel and save 20 percent off plus free international shipping only at manscaped.com your balls will thank you and now back to your regularly scheduled program. Dallas now looking to respond, ensuing drive. Dak would find a CD lamb that answered the call at the 47-yard line. Few plays later in Tampa territory. <laughs> Third and three. Time to go for it all. Dak looking towards the end zone. He's got a man. What? I dropped it. This man done dropped the interception. What happened to his hands? Dallas would have to settle for a 31-yard Greg Zerline. Fe oh, I missed. Tell me I did not just see that. Maybe a little bit of butterflies. Hey, Greg, it's only one missed kick. No way you're going to miss another one, right? Following the missed field goal. Very next play from scrimmage. Beep, 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 beep. Butter! Fingers fumble on the play, recovered by the Cowboys. I've got you in my sights. Welcome, punch. Oh, that hit just the right spot. How fortuitous for the Cowboys. They get another opportunity. Third and eight. Dak would move the chains inside the 15. Very next play. Time to activate the Dak attack. Don't run, damn it, your ankle. Get out of bounds, Dak. Thank heavens he was able to escape and get out of bounds. But look at the goddamn cheerleaders. No reaction whatsoever. Are they sedated? Why are they unable to? move they not even blinking nevertheless second and three Dak would drop the football on the floor pick it back up he's got Amari over the exchange Cooper participating in the 10 toes down challenge touchdown Dallas they'd even up the score at 14 apiece I guess not boy ain't no fucking way boy tell me I did not just see that this man just missed two kicks in the last two minutes and you got the audacity to walk around here with a smile on your face growing up i used to watch basketball there was a short player named earl boykins they ought to call you greg doinkins this man participating in the cody parkey crossbar challenge what's wrong with him this man's legs is less reliable than placing a bet on shikari richardson get your ass off the field and put your motherfucking head back down stupid literally the very next play from scrimmage eh? <laughs> Shit. Pass intercepted by the Cowboys. Back to back offensive plays and in turnovers for the Bucks. Hold up, we them boys. <laughs> Hold up, we them boys. Let's go, defense. We go into the Super Bowl. But unfortunately, much like a victim of a hanging, Michael Gallup couldn't keep his feet down. It's no good. That is no. completely no. out of bounds. So they'd call on Greg Zerline, and somehow he kicks it through the uprights and good. Dallas has the lead. That's my kicker, baby. We fall down, but we get up. We fall down, but we get up. After a spectacular kickoff return, eh? Tampa's already inside Dallas territory with one play. Talk about premature ejaculation. Dallas already blew their load. Eh? <laughs> Brady going deep. He's got the clown, Antonio Brown. Touchdown. Tampa's back in front. Dallas had the lead for less than a minute. Enough from the clown. Once again, trailing, Dallas looking to put points on the board. Amari Cooper moves the chains. Following the two-minute warning, Dak looking towards his left. <laughs> He's got Gallup for an eight-yard gain, but there's laundry on the field. In some kind of bizarre two-for-one special, there was a pass interference and face mask by the exact same player. I ain't never seen two fouls made by one person, both enforced on the exact same play. That's a 26-yard gain. Dallas is now in Tampa territory, and they ain't have to do nothing but exist it appears Dak really loves them animals because he'd find cd lamb and he'd carry it to the 21 yard line second and 10 there's danger run away Dak. here comes shaq barrett don't run 
nigga, I see you. Gotcha, bitch. I cannot believe it. They really gonna try a 60 yard field goal? Failure. Hmm, I stopped short. Why would you try to kick a football damn near 60 yards against Tom Brady not knowing that some bitch could be deflated? Kick had less air than a patient with a faulty ventilator. That's his third missed kick today. Who the hell surprised? Somebody make sure Aaron Rodgers is not watching. Tom Brady got another Hail Mary before halftime and launches it towards the end zone. Pass intercepted by Jordan Lewis, and he's going to take it out of the end zone. He's headed to McDonald's. Can I get a McPick 6? Shut the fuck up, you cunt! I guess not. We're headed to halftime. Greetings, it's me again. Would you guys like to win a brand new PlayStation 5? Or perhaps you'd rather have an Xbox X. All you've got to do is click the links in my description, download the free Hot Mic app, use the invite code Adonis, or click the link that'll take you directly to Hot Mic. Just follow me on the app and you'll be entered into the giveaway for a PlayStation 5 bundle and an Xbox X bundle. If you guys already follow me for the 10K follower giveaway last season, you'll already be entered. If you follow me for the NBA Finals giveaway, you'll already be entered. I don't care about burner accounts i don't care how many other accounts you happen to make all you've got to do is download the hot mic app use the invite code adonis follow me on the app and you will be entered may the odds ever be in your favor into the second half we go trailing by five here comes them boys dak looking towards his right he's got amari armani exchange cooper to move the chains three plays later dak looking over the middle they're now inside tampa bay territory why is tampa bay social distancing themselves from amari cooper is he unvaccinated he damn near went down the field by himself it's about that time time to feed zeke second and goal zeke elliott would oh shit Go out of bounds. Maybe the next play. Pass catching's not really his forte. How about an option? One on one. Zeke would. Now get your bitch ass on the floor. Failure. He took a L through the air and on the ground. They'd have to settle for a 21 yard Greg Zerline field goal. You motherfucker. If you miss, he put it through the uprights, cut the deficit down to two. Who would have thought Zeke would have transmogrified into this? When they paid him all that money, he was supposed to be winning one on one matchups like this. Now look at him. Like a five inch penis. He ain't nothing but average. Ensuing drive down. Dallas's rush finally gets penetration. <laughs> Tampa would be forced to punt following a three and out, and it looks like there's beach ball mania out there in Tampa Bay. There's also cooking apple turnovers. Pass intercepted by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It's going to be returned to the 19-yard line. CD Lamb was fourth in the league with drops last year. Looks like he's picking up where he left off. Stupid bitch. First in 10, time to find the real-life Thad Castle. Eh? Me Gronkowski, me catch football, me at 15-yard line, me no talk about new play me want ball again eh me run into end zone touchdown second one of day cowgirl no stop me me score for patriot i mean buccaneer what team i play for don't matter brady my friend this man brady is 44 with four tds this is ridiculous ezekiel elliott would gallop for no apparent reason but he'd finally do something positive but don't get me wrong he's been blocking his ass off in pass protection but let's be honest ain't nobody trying to pay ezekiel elliott to block in protection nevertheless now in tampa territory play action fake Dalton David D. Schultz would move the chains. Amari Cooper out here looking like period blood on a pair of white jeans. Don't matter how much you try to cover it, it's still going to show up. And he'd go into the end zone, his second TD on the day. Dallas cuts their deficit to two. Momentum heading in Dallas's way. Eh? Is that Mike Evans? Oh, shit. I forgot he was even playing tonight. Three plays later, Brady going for it all. Eh? He's got Chris Godwin inside the... T I dropped it. This man scored today, and somehow his hands are still just for decoration. What happened? Bend to his hands. Ensuing drive, Dak looking towards his right. He throw the ball to Dallas's playoff burst the last two years. But again, nothing was there. Time to be consistently inconsistent. Eh? Chris Godwin finds his hands. He'd pick up a huge gain into Dallas territory. Two plays later. Brady, watch out for that banana. <laughs> eh? He gets rid of the football. It's going to be caught by Leonard Fournette. Somehow they move the chains. Let's be consistently inconsistent. Eh? Here comes Chris Godwin inside the 10. Spin him. <laughs> Hey, it's a ball. Looks like he must have come down with the COVID because he's uh, 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 coughing up the ball. Dallas takes over. Pardon my interruption. If you ever wanted to get your hands on some merch like this. Wow. 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 Give me what I want. Give me what I want. Click the links in my description and go to chiseledonashop.com and get your merch today. Trust.
do it! There's got to be some kind of conspiracy tonight. Why is nobody guarding Amari Cooper? Dallas with an opportunity to take their receipt to the sperm bank and get their comeback. Third and 11, C.D. Lamb would take it into Tampa Bay territory. Who would have thought it'd be Tampa Bay choking? Following a series of unfortunate events, Dak would dump it off to Amari Armani Exchange Cooper. He'd get his 13th catch on the day, but it would not convert into a first down. They'd send out Greg Zerline, 48-yard field goal. Somehow he kicks it through the uprights. It's good. Dallas has taken in the lead with 124 left to play. Pull up with the boys. What I tell you, baby, we got thick. We got thick. Amari Cooper, C.D. Lamb, Michael Gallup, Van Der Es, Demarcus Lawrence. We the boys. Nobody gonna stop us now. Game over, baby. Game over. How about them Dallas Cowboys? How about them Cowboys? Game done. Dallas is gonna win. Do you need a shout out? Perhaps you need somebody to sing happy birthday for you. Maybe you need some help roasting a friend or you just need somebody to announce the draft order for your fantasy football league. Book me on Cameo. Go to Cameo.com slash Chisel Adonis and book me today. I know what it's like to lose. Feel so desperately that you're right. Yet to fail nonetheless. I ask you to what end? Dread it. Run from it. Destiny arrives all the same. And now it's here. Or should I say, I am. Ensuing drive, under a minute left to play. Here comes Brady. Eh? Dumps it off to me, Kronkowski. Me being in moments like this before in my career. Me, no big time player, supposed to make big time. Eh? Play in big time game. Me inside cowboy territory. You can't take me down. You too small. Me, Gronkowski. Me big. Very next play, Brady going for it all. Eh? He's going deep. But there's nobody near the football. How is that not intentional grounding? All jokes aside, there's literally five eligible wide receivers here. Godwin, Gronk, A.B. Mike Evans and a running back out of the backfield. The closest receivers to the football is Gronk and AB and they didn't even cross the 25 yard line. This ball touched down at the 8 yard line. That's intentional grounding. Brady was still in the pocket. Either my eyes are for decoration or these referees just swallowed their whistle. They've been making terrible calls all night but my god the game is on the line here. Very next play, Brady takes the snap, looking left, and eh? he's got Chris Godwin inside the 25, and Tampa is inside the 20. When it comes to Tom Brady, he don't drive automatic. He's got the clutch in the pass interference was not called. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. There's no way the referees miss two calls on back-to-back -back plays. I understand the back shoulder pass is a science. You utilize the cornerback's momentum against him. But look at Chris Godwin's left arm. That's a full extension to create separation. Now, let's be honest. Jordan Lewis was about a split second away from committing defensive holding, but he didn't even get that opportunity. And to make matters even worse, the referee was literally standing right there. I'm sick and tired of these referees' negligence. This is getting ridiculous. This is clear as day as clear as urine after drinking an excess of water they've been throwing flags all day but now they decide no longer to utilize them nevertheless tampa bay's not complaining because they'd send out ryan suck up from 36 yards out and he don't drive automatic because he's got the clutch in the car kicks it through the uprights it's good tampa leads by two with two seconds left to play was there ever any doubt no! What the fuck are we gonna do now? What the fuck are we gonna do now? Two seconds left to play. We wouldn't even see Dak. Dallas would try a gadget play, but Tony Pollard's going absolutely nowhere. The referees would rule him down by contact, and this game is over. Dallas came all the way back, but did that help them win? Absolutely not. Tampa's victorious, 31-29. One quick look at those Cowboys fans. What the fuck is you what talking about? What the fuck about, was nigga? that? I'm sorry, bro. It don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. It don't matter. It's only week one. We gonna build speak after this game with the same performance, and we gonna kill everybody. We gonna win the next 16 game, then we gonna be 16 and one. We gonna win three playoff games. We gonna be 19 and one. Then we gonna go to the Super Bowl. We gonna win the Super Bowl. Then we gonna get six rings, six rings, six rings, six rings, six rings. Nobody can stop us now. We're not even 24 hours into the NFL season, and the. 
collusion has already started. The only place the Cowboys are going is taking out their Metro cards and getting aboard the L train. Damn right, we got ourselves a new L train, and it's supreme, baby. Now get your ass out of here. <laughs> Hey, I hope you're enjoying the video. Make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification so you'll always be up to date in all my content. On top of that, follow me all over the social media platforms, all right? Whether that's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, Pornhub, does not matter. Because at the end of the day, let's all go to the Shadow Realm together.